Hello, good morning, guys. I hope you are fine. Um, here we have in another English class. I am teacher Lore, and we're gonna start, okay? Uh, these days we have been checking the book, so we're gonna continue working with that. Uh, if you have your book, please take notes on your book because I am going to be asking them, and we're gonna start, okay? Today we're going to see a little bit of culture. I have to cut this part of the book because as you know, in here, um, the book is like in, in another position. So, um, like in a landscape form. So, um, I decided to cut it and to continue with this, okay? So in here we have some pictures. Uh, basically, this is in Morocco. And in here we have number one, match the captions with the pictures. Okay, so the first one, we have evening, at the main square, okay? So uh, in here we have the pictures. Uh, what could be the uh, evening of the main square? Yes, is, let me show you. If you were correct, excellent. So this one is number one. Okay, so that is the main square. The main square is the place where everyone gets together and buys things and, I don't know, goes to some places. So in here we're gonna write with my text in the little box number one. Okay, oh, it can, you can see it. But yeah, it's number one oh, in here. Okay, number two, a storyteller at Gemma's Elfne. Sorry for my pronunciation. Okay, so yes, the storyteller is someone who is uh, telling stories, okay? So this is number two. Number three, the city of Marrakesh in Morocco. That is on the other page, okay? so. We're gonna wait. Then number four, Moroccan food is this one that you have on your right. That is number four. That is the food, okay? So uh, number three is on the next page. I'm gonna show you. Wait a minute. There you go, okay. So the other part is on the next page, which is this one, okay? We have a text, and this is the city of Marrakesh in Morocco. So read the blog post and answer the questions in your notebook. You can answer them in your uh, book if you have enough space. If not, you can do it in your notebook. So number one, where was done yesterday? Number two, who did he listen to? Number three, what was the story about? Number four, why do storytellers have students? So, are you ready to read with me? Follow the reading, please, because um, then we're gonna answer the questions together. So, in here we have the storytellers of Morocco. And we have another, um, title that it's Dance Adventures in Africa, okay? Morocco is in Africa, as you can see, okay? It is August 18th, posted by Dan Schultz, 12 comments, Marrakesh, Morocco. Then we are gonna start. Yesterday afternoon, I was in Marrakesh, Morocco, with my parents and their Moroccan friends, friend, Abed. We saw a snake 
charmers, and magicians on Gemma's El Fna, the famous, the famous square. When an old man arrived, people made a circle around him. He was a storyteller. Abed explained that the storytelling is an important part of Moroccan culture and that people really respect the storytellers. The stories usually include a moral aspect. The old man spoke in Arabic and Abed translated the story into English for me. It was about the creation of the Sahara Desert. Desert. Then we went to a coffee shop. All storytellers were teaching young students there so that the tradition doesn't disappear. Okay, so what do you think about this? Would you like to go someday to Morocco? That would be very interesting. And more, to listen to a storyteller, right? Excellent. So let's answer the questions. If you have any questions, you can go back to the text. And here we have, where was Dan yesterday? Yes, he was in Marrakesh. Morocco. Let me change into black. Excellent. So, who did he listen to? Very good. Storyteller, okay? Storyteller, as I told you, is someone who tells stories about a specific um, situation or, yeah. Then we have, what was the story about? Yes. The creation of the Sahara Desert. Okay? Remember, if you say desert, like with E, with I, it is like um, an ice cream uh, cake, okay? And the desert is the place. So, yeah. Okay, let's continue. Finally, why do storytellers have students? Why do you think? Yes. So that the tradition, what? Doesn't disappear. Okay? So that is why uh, they have storytellers. Because if not, they would disappear because anyone would like to do that. So they have the students so they can, um, they can uh, continue teaching, okay? How to do the storytelling part. So, excellent. We're gonna continue. I hope you are taking notes because all of this, I am going to ask you for a photo of your work. Excellent. Now let's move on to the next part. That is uh, listening. Okay? Here we have the listening. And here it says, listen the, story the storyteller order the um, dialogues. Okay? So we're going to continue with this and then we're going to finish. Okay? So listen to the listening and order the story. Here we already have number one. The earth was a beautiful place. Nobody told lies. Okay, this is number one. Tell me which is number two, three, four, five, and six. So are you ready? Listen please carefully. Track 27. One, 
A long time ago, the earth was a beautiful garden with trees and flowers. Nobody told lies. Two. But one day, one man told a lie. It was a very small lie, but it was the end of men's innocence. Three. So the spirit called all the men on earth and said, Every time you tell a lie, I will throw one grain of sand onto earth. Four. The men said, A grain of sand? You can't see a grain of sand. Five. Day after day, men told lies, and the spirit threw grains of sand onto the earth. Six. The grains of sand form the Sahara Desert, but here and there we can see trees and flowers, because not all men tell lies. Okay, so did you catch everything? Excellent. So we're going to check the answers. Uh, we already have number one. The earth was a beautiful place. Nobody told lies. Okay. Uh, number two. What do you think is number two? Excellent. A person told a lie. It was the end of the man's innocence, okay? So someone told a lie, so that happened. Very good. Then we have number three. Yes, the spirit called all the people on earth. Every time someone told a lie, he would throw a grain from sand onto earth. So yes. Number four, the people said a grain of sand would make the difference or a difference. So yeah, that is number four. Number five, people on earth told lies every day and the spirit threw grains of sand on earth. And finally, number six, the grains of sand form a Sahara, the Sahara Desert. An oasis shows the original garden because there are people who don't tell lies. So, very good. You all did excellent. Then, we have a little glossary in here. And in here it says, um, we have some words that are like the most difficult on this part of the book. First, we have a spoke. A spoke basic, basically is the past form of a speak. So as you know, you, um, you know the past form of the verbs. Then we have, tell a lie. Say something that is not true. Um, that happens a lot to people. It can happen to grown-ups and to children to tell lies, but that is bad, okay? Don't tell lies. Then we have grain of sand, a small particle of beaches and desert, deserts, okay? So when you go to the beach, all of the things that are on your foot or on your feet, they are uh, sand, okay? That it's like... Uh, small and they can go in through your uh, toes yeah and to throw for example when i say throw the ball in the class i am throwing something okay in here they are uh, giving us the example of an air paper airplane so yeah throw means like to like give something away so there we go so uh, we, with this, we're going to finish. Um, I am going to be asking you about the story 
and about the um, text that we checked before on the class for you to um, complete, okay? The, or to tell me, just to talk to me about this. So I know that you um, check the video. So goodbye, have a nice day. I will see you in a few minutes by Zoom, okay? Take care, miss you guys, goodbye.